using shaping and targeting to overcome fear. Prerequisites include the dog needs to know how to be shaped and how to paw target. Start by clicking for any interaction with the object. Place the reinforcer near the object to start building a positive association. Watch for relaxed body language, tail neutral or higher, and ability to eat and offer behaviors. If the dog is not able to offer these, go back a few steps to where she is. That may mean that you need to add more distance between the dog and the object, or start with an object the dog isn't as scared of. I chose the Swiffer to start with because Jessie is mostly comfortable with it. Teaching her to interact with this object gives her a foundation to later train with objects she's more frightened of. It gives her a chance to learn how to play the game. In session two, she's already eager to interact with it. When she started offering paw targets, I knew she was gaining confidence. I picked the handle up to change what it looks like to her. Here she wants to interact with it right away. I start back with a nose touch, but she quickly offers a paw. Now I've switched to tossing the treats away, so she has to make the choice to come back to the object. She's fine with me adding a bit of movement. When she's reliably paw targeting, I add the verbal cue, paw. I switch to a verbal marker and add more time between my markers. You can see she still wants to engage with it at this point and follows it around waiting for a cue. Yes. Here you can see she's losing interest. That's good because I don't want her chasing it around when I have to actually use it. Until now, I've always moved it away from her or parallel to her. Now I actually move it towards her. We've achieved our goal of calm with no fearful behavior with object in close proximity by our last session. I reinforce her for being calm. Now we repeat the process with another object that might be slightly more scary for the dog. Hey, Pop. Follow the same steps as before. Because she already knows how to play the game, it's not so scary anymore. Yes. Keep training up the scary scale. The shovel is scarier because it adds the element of sound. The next video will show how to deal with the criterion of sound.